The topic of this video is finding the domain of a composite function. Let's look at a problem. Given f of x equals 8 over the difference x minus 2, and g of x equals 3 over x, find the domain of f composed with g. All right, so the first thing that you might notice is that it simply says f composed with g with nothing after it. But we note that f is a function of x, and g is also a function of x. So when we compose these together, we will get a function of x. In other words, we can write f composed with g of x. This and this are equal. Now we write using the definition, putting the letters in the order that we see them. f of g of x. In the innermost parentheses, we have a variable. So we work from the outside in, which means we're going to use function f, and specifically the right side of function f, to write our next line of algebra. But instead of x, we're going to put g of x. So we get 8 over g of x minus 2. Next, we replace g of x with what it equals in the problem. So we get 8 over 3 over x minus 2. It's important to note that this is the first line of algebra that I've written that does not have the names f and g. f, g, f, g, g. So this is the moment where we now stop to determine our domain. We do not simplify any further until after we have found the domain for this problem. So let's take this and complete the four steps of finding domain. Step one is to start with all real numbers. Step two is to look for even index radicals. We don't have any in this problem. Step three is to look for log arguments. We don't have any in this problem. So steps two and three are not applicable. Step four is to look for denominators. Well, it turns out we have two of those. How do you know we have two? Because there are two fraction bars. Each fraction bar is a denominator. So for example, this little fraction bar right here, anything underneath it is a denominator. So that x is not allowed to be 0. And this fraction bar right here, the long one, that means that anything underneath it is not allowed to be 0. So that tells me that 3 over x subtract 2 is not allowed to be 0. Solving both of these inequalities will tell me my domain. The first one doesn't have any algebra. It simply gives us the result x is not allowed to be 0. But the second one does require some algebra. Let's add 2 to both sides. So then we get 3 over x equals 2. And because 2 can be written as a fraction, 2 over 1, this will make it easy for us to solve this using a proportion. A proportion is a mathematical statement in which two fractions sit on either side of equal or not equal. And it turns out that the cross multiples can be used to solve a proportion of that type. So 3 times 1 will be on the left-hand side, x times 2 will be on the right-hand side, and the symbol that appears here is repeated in between. This tells me that 3 is not equal to 2x. And by dividing by 2 on both sides, I get the result x is not equal to 3 halves. So putting these together gives me my domain for this problem. The final answer is the set of all x such that x is not equal to 0 and x is not equal to 3 halves. The software platform that you're using may require you to express your answer in other alternate equivalent forms, such as an interval or a number line graph. So let's go ahead and make a number line graph here. If we want every number in the world except for 0 and 3 halves, what that means is that we want all of the numbers that are to the left of 0, all of the numbers that are to the right of 3 halves, and all of the numbers that are in between but not including 0 and not including 3 halves. There is a hole in the number line at those two locations. And because of that hole, it splits our number line into three pieces, this, 
this, and this. So when we write our interval, our interval will go from negative infinity to zero, then skip over zero and go from zero to three halves, then skip over three halves and go from three halves all the way to infinity. This is the domain of our composite function in three different notations, set notation, number line graph, and interval notation.